Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to episode 12 of the Formula 1 Friday series with Chico Zotta. And you join us for round 11 out of 22 for season 1 of the Flocking Geese career mode. And uh, as you can see, we are in the driver's seat. Basically, the game crashed as I was uh, in the first recording of the qualifying session. <laughs> so, uh, this is uh, round 2. It's always Austria. So, um, Austria is going to be interesting because uh, I believe we get to negotiate Tictum's contract afterwards, after the Grand Prix. But, um, no. Yeah, that, that's, that's, this is part one for the qualifying season. Quali qualifying session for Austria. You can see here. Uh, Hamilton's on the track already for Stappen, uh, Latifi and Joe. So, um, yeah, let's get out there and, uh, you know, get, get the best timing, hopefully. Let's get on with it. Right, so, um, you join us after doing a, uh, a quick warm-up, and basically we had uh, very little time. We did set uh, the fastest lap. One minute seven seconds, literally almost one minute eight eight, one minute oh eight. Sorry, but um, we had a, a pretty short session because of uh, the weather forecast. The basically there was, it was got heavy rain was predicted to fall, um, so we had to basically just get out there and just very quickly put down a uh, excellent lap see as Mark uh, points out we, uh, we we are expecting rain so the goose had very little time to uh, warm up and mess around and just act we had to get on with it but as we do have the fastest lap at the moment uh, with Sainz, Leclerc, Verstappen, Perez oh bit of a bit wide there we'll go to the final corner here of uh, qualified, this was the last lap I did. The goose did so, and we beat our own lap. And uh, yeah, that was it, really. <laughs> That's it for qualifying. The qualifying finished. It's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Goose, Sainz, and Charles Leclerc. The qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Yep, make sure to join us for uh, not only the Grand Prix, but also the sprint race as well. And, um, <clears throat> yep, for the sixth time, <laughs> we've put in a, a very excellent, a, a fantastic lap from the Goose there. 1 minute 7 seconds, 0.608. Goose Lord, as I would say on my other channel. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Yeah, so um, not only did we manage to um, beat Carlos Sainz lap, uh, we beat, uh, we even, the Goose managed to beat his own lap by almost half a second. So, your top 10 for the sprint race and the Grand Prix. Wow. Depends what happens in the sprint race. But for now, we've got Carlos Sainz P2, Leclerc in P3, Russell, who we've out qualified, which is good. Uh, Verstappen, Norris P6, Perez P7, Hamilton P8, Ricardo P9, and uh, Fernando Alonso in P10. So those are your top 10 for the sprint race. And, um, yep. Yes, again, guys. Who's in last place, I wonder? <laughs> oh, God. Should I, sh should I just get rid of him or just keep him to the end of the season? I feel like I should just get rid of him, but... We'll, I'll, have to, I'll make a decision after the Grand Prix. Because I want to focus on the Sprint Race and Grand Prix. And then... Once the Grand Prix is out of the way, we can... Uh, focus on getting a new driver I think or whatever but no 
I hope you've enjoyed the qualifying session for the Austrian Grand Prix. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure to check out my other channel, Tico Sprinter. And uh, until the sprint race part two, thank you for watching. Stay safe, take care, and we'll see you for part two, which is the Austrian sprint race. Bye for now.